Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. We're out here on Silver Ridge Peaks where we're going to be doing the Mule Deer Guide. So let's go ahead and let's jump right in. So Mule Deer, they drink from 1500 to 1800 as you can see right there. They are a class 6 animal so that is going to give you a wide variety of different guns you could use. Any 4 to 8 rifle is going to get the job done pretty well and we have with us the 303, the M1, the Malmer 7mm and the Zarza 308. But you can use anything like the 30 6 just any gun that covers class 6. But max level is 5 medium, max weight is 210 kg, silver is 98.3, gold is 220.5, and then diamond is 312.1. Common fur types are blonde, brown, and gray, and rare fur types are dilute, which actually wasn't a rare for the longest time, but it is now rare. Then we have piebald, melanistic, and albino. And then mule deer scent and the deer bleat collar will call them in. So yeah, that pretty much does it for the information. We're going to go ahead and jump right in here. Let's go take down some mule deer. So we're going to be starting things off here at this little lake towards the top of the map on the right side. The closest outpost is this one, the Tabagachi outpost. So this lake is pretty good for me. It has two zones on it. You can see I have a little bit of hunting pressure there. That was when I was finding zones last night. I decided to go ahead and just um, shoot one of them over here. But we have a level three there, 201 to 262. So he is a decent one. I think there's a couple level twos somewhere over here. I don't know exactly where they're at. They're just now getting to their zone. But I do think there is a couple level twos. And then we have a level three over there, 151 to 212. And then there's also some level twos, 77 to 138. And then another one, 62 to 124. So obviously not the biggest males ever, but we're going to go ahead and take a couple down. I think we'll just go for both the level threes here. So we'll start with this one and then we'll just kind of make our way around because that other one is not really giving us a good shot whatsoever. So let's go ahead and let's just start with the 303. It's one of my favorite guns in the game here. I've talked about it several times. We'll just start off with it. So we'll wait for him to raise his head, even though we could, could, could get into the lungs. With his head down, I think we'll just wait until he raises his head up like that. That should be a single lung shot. Yeah, 50, 75. He is going to go down. They are not going to spook, or they shouldn't at least. They should probably be like attentive. They actually are alert, so but they're not going to spook or anything. So let's go over there. Let's get our um, level 3, and then we'll try to get the other level 3 down. Here's the level 3. Let's go ahead and pick him up here. He'll just be a silver at 209.96. Got him in the left lung there, so that was a fantastic shot on him. Gold, like we said, is 220.54, so not really that close. About 10, 11 points below being a gold. So we'll go ahead and we'll accept him. You do kind of have to watch out for mountain lions when you're hunting the mule deer, just because they love to kind of mess things up. And the bighorn sheep, they also drink during mule deer drink time. It's like an hour, I think, that it overlaps. We can actually take a look here. So Bighorn, they drink from 12 to 1600, so Mule Deer 15 to 1800, they do overlap by one hour. So there's the level three. I think I'm going to get just a little bit closer just because we can. The wind is good and everything. We'll go ahead and get a little bit closer and then we'll take him down. We are really close now, about 70 meters out, so we're going to go ahead and just get him down. They're still calm. Like I said, the wind is good, so don't have to worry about that. Let's get the Malmer 7 millimeter. Try to potentially go for a heart shot. I don't know if we'll be able to get it. That one is going to go alert. We'll just go for something like that, and that should be good. Yeah, 50, 75, 25. He is not going to go far whatsoever. He's going to drop literally right there, basically on the spot. So, yeah, this, like, like I said, it's pretty good. Two zones on it for me. You could have more. You could have less. Everyone's map is different. But Mule Deer, they pretty much drink everywhere, it seems like. I was looking around at all the lakes and just down here at the bottom as well, and it seemed like there were Mule Deer zones everywhere. So you definitely want to check your entire map when you're trying to find your zones. But here is this level three. He'll be a silver at 200.07. Got him right there in the left lung, right lung. So, oh, yeah, we were close to hitting the heart. Just a few inches to the left there. But, yeah, good shot on him. Let's go ahead and head to another lake. Now we're here at this lake on the left side of the map. The closest outpost is the San Juan outpost. It's a pretty good lake. It has two zones on it as well. Um, there was a level four that was coming in. Pretty sure he was coming over here to his zone. I ended up spooking him off on accident as I was coming out of the outpost. So I don't know if he'll end up coming back. But we don't have to worry about it too much. But we have a level 3, 175 to 236 there. Level 2, 90 to 151. And I'm pretty sure there's some other males kind of buried there in the reeds. We're just going to go for this level 3. Let's go ahead and let's get the um, Zarza 308. Let's get the 308 out. Let's go ahead and let's just take him down. He's giving us a fantastic shot. We'll just go for that and that should be good. So he's going to start dropping there. We'll see what else we have. Level 3, 189 to 250. So that's a decent one. Um, and let's see another one here. Level 3, 115 to 176. So you can see that zone is pretty good. And like I said, there was a level 4 that should have been coming over here somewhere to his zone. I just don't know where he went. 
Here's this level 3, and he will be a silver at 186.98. Got him in the left humerus and the left lung, so really good shot at 177 meters on this level 3. Nothing too crazy about this guy. Actually going to go ahead, get a screenshot here, potentially for the thumbnail, unless we just find something absolutely crazy, which I'm pretty sure we don't have on the map because I checked a lot of my zones last night. Let's go ahead and we'll accept him. So now we're here at this lake. It's actually a pretty good one. It only has two zones on it for me, but we got some decent um, mule deer over here in front of us. There's a level 3, 170 to 232, level 2, 108 to 270, and then another level 3 in there. Probably not going to be able to spot him. I can see his just antlers barely sticking out of the reeds there, but he's another level 3. And then over here to my left, we have another zone in the reeds there. We're not going to be able to actually get one of those. But yeah, this lake's pretty good. And this lake up here, um, this outpost is the Array Outpost. It's a really good one. Pretty much all of these zones are mule deer. There's one right there, another one there, um, there's a third one, there's a fourth one, and then this one is going to be Rocky Mountain Elk, but there's one right here at this little tiny lake. But it's a really good one. I went up there, but the mountain lions were running around, so they kind of messed that up. I didn't even see any mule deer up there. But let's go ahead and let's go for this level 3, 170 to 232. We'll use, I th what, what gun have we not used? I think we, I don't think we've used the M1. So let's go ahead and let's use the M1 here. Aim a little bit high or somewhere like that, and that looks spot on. Yeah, 5075. He is going to go down pretty quickly. That was a beautiful shot. Let's run over there and let's get him. So I did, in fact, find another zone here. It's just a level 3, 161 to 222. I don't see any others with him. Um, there could be some behind the reeds here, but we might as well take him down since we are so close. So we'll get the 7mm out again and just really quickly get this guy down. So let's go for that, and that's going to be a perfect hard shot on him. So is there any others that are going to come out from behind there? I don't think so. I think he was pretty much the only one. So just a single male there, but we did have three zones over here on this lake. And potentially more that I just potentially spooked off or whatever. Let's go ahead and let's grab, there's a mountain line up there. Let's grab this level three. He's going to be a silver at 176.44. Perfect left lung and right lung shot at 298 meters. So really, really good shot on him. Let's go ahead and accept him. Let's run over here and let's get this one. Then we'll kind of wrap things up. And finally, here's this level 3. He'll be a silver. 189.63. Got him in the right lung, the heart, and the left lung. So yeah, I'm pretty sure we got all silvers today for the mule deer. Pretty much took down all level 3s, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, just another one that's decent. Nothing crazy about him. We'll accept him. And like I said, that's pretty much going to do it for this part of the guide. Let's go ahead and jump right into the map guide. Here's the Silver Ridge Peaks Mule Deer Map Guide, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. You can see by the red circles that it's going to represent the hot spots. It's the lakes that we went to today, plus that lake that I said the mountain lines kind of messed up. It had like five zones on it or something. It is a really good one, so definitely check them areas. And then we also have the blue stars, which represents where you might have zones. And like I said, the Mule Deer, they pretty much drink everywhere, so you're definitely going to want to check around and make sure um, you have all your zones. But that pretty much does it for today's video. Really do hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful. We are almost to 1,000 subs as I'm recording this. I think we're like two away, so who knows what we'll be at when this actually comes out. We could be at 1,000. Still two away, one away, but I just want to thank everyone that has subscribed. This is a pretty big moment for me, so I am very, very excited about it. We'll talk more about it tomorrow, though, if we do officially hit 1,000. But I really do want to thank you all, and I hope you enjoyed the video, so see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.